Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today I was reading in Deuteronomy 10, and I remembered, and I, you know what? I'm sorry that I haven't shared very much about in my personal studies what I've been reading. I think that my life's been so crazy that uh, I don't even know. It's just been so hard to keep track. I'm going to have to go back through all the stuff that I've highlighted and, and thought about. But I've had so many other things going on. So I'm just sharing what's on my heart. But it hasn't been uh, as, as you know, in order as probably I should. But been more sharing what's on my heart than what's been coming out of my study. But this in Deuteronomy 10, it says, At that time the Lord said unto me, Hew you two tables of stone like unto the first, and come up unto me into the mount, and make you an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables, which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. And I just, I just think it's pretty funny that God, when, he, when, when Moses goes up there the first time, uh, God gives him the tables of the stone and God writes upon them. But then the second time that he goes up there, uh, he makes Moses m hew out the tables of stone. You know what I mean? And I think it's, I think that's a valuable lesson that we can learn. There's something that we can learn from this. It's like God will do something for us the first time. Um, but if we mess that up, he's not just going to freely hand us the thing again to mess up again. He's going to make us work for it. So that way, you know, we, uh, appreciate it a little bit more, you know, uh, even though Moses didn't walk back down to a rowdy, crazy Israel again, uh, but I'm sure he was tempted probably at some point to, to break those tables of stone, but Maybe having put a little blood, sweat, and tears into actually uh, getting those tables out and, and remembering that whole time. Oh, man, uh, God had already given me these, and now I'm spending all this time chiseling out these rocks because I threw them down in my anger. So just wanted to point that out. I think it's an important lesson. And I think it's a clear lesson that we can learn uh, throughout Scripture. And I'm trying to think of any other examples, but but this one is really clear. God gave him the tables of stone the first time. But the second time, after he broke them, he said, You, you have two tables of stone since you broke the first one. And God allowed that and, and, and waited for him to do that to prove a point and to teach him a lesson and to help him to appreciate uh, what was happening and, and you know, and, and just to take time to meditate upon what had happened in that situation in the first place, you know. And then obviously, you know, later on, he doesn't end up getting into the promised land. But we can talk about that too um, because... Moses was never going to enter into the promised land, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. God bless.